All right, you guys, we are at the Soul Steel's warehouse. This is a place that not that many people get a chance to go to. We're with my guy, Scotty, right here, and he's gonna be taking us through the warehouse and talking about the business and how it all has been ran and everything, just showing us some sneakers. They got a lot of rare stuff in here that I'm looking forward to seeing as well, so. I'm gonna let you just bring me on the tour. Let's start with this wall and just make our way around the shop. All right, man, so this is actually, uh, this is kind of like our intake center. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and once they see the rest of this, it's actually gonna be kind of funny because okay. there is no organization in this <laughs> place at all. Um, is it a sample box? Yeah, it's a sample. What we got right here? That's your, that's your favorite. You know, I'm like, guaranteed I see sample boxes, so I'm like, we gotta crack that over here. You know, rare side. Oh, yeah. Oh. A little beater for oh. someone. Nine and a half beater. I got a pair of my suitcase right now. I'm actually gonna be wearing tomorrow, so. Yeah, so. This uh, is great. Anybody looking for a nine and a half beater? Honestly, these I'm, are really I nice. might keep this one, actually. This is a 10. This pair is clean. 10 white duck yep. three. Ten okay. White. Fuck it. For those that know or don't know, pit crew right here. Yep. Damn. So yeah, no, this okay. is all this is all stuff someone just sent in. Um, okay. Just slowly picking through it. So a bunch of alma ones. That's a, I know a lot of people have the questions too when it comes to the businesses and stuff. Is it more consignment based? Is it more you buying out no, everything? We don't, we don't do trades. Nope, all different stuff, we don't do any consignment. Okay. Once in a while we'll do drop ship. Mm -hmm. Like I'll have a homie call me and say, hey, I got. 30 pairs of Kentucky Dunks, can right. you blow them out? I'll right. throw them on Soul Steels. And then I'll just hit, ship hit that push notification. Right. Go, gone 60 seconds, like cool. Nicholas Cage. Middle man. Feel Damn. it? Okay. Gone. I like that. I yeah. like that. Yeah. Okay. So, for those that don't know, that is things, those are options that stuff that can happen with your business if you're a young sneaker reseller out there. But at the same time, you got to build that network. Yeah. And you got to build people. that clientele. Yeah. And there's a lot of other things that come along with it. So, it may sound easy but you had to work to get there. So mm -hmm. let's talk about the start too. Like, where did this all start? Like, what, what got you into all this So stuff? I had a website, it was uh, Tier Zero Shoes. Okay. And I just like, I always sold shoes for cheaper than everyone else. Shout out to Elon. Um, <laughs> I always sold shoes cheaper than everyone else just so I can just push it out and keep going. And then one day I was driving home, I was like, hey, I can charge people to use my website. And it just like clicked. Yeah. I fucking ran home that day, built the whole site. And then uh, Soul Supremacy called me like two weeks later. It was like, hey, I want in on this. Yeah. And then we partnered up. So what year was this? 2014. 2014. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, and then how long were you in the shoes before that? Oh, since like 2007. Okay. Yeah. So this was about like, I guess that was like the midpoint of your current career. Of yeah. Sneakers, right? Uh -huh. And then you hit that and it was like a whole new trajectory. Yeah. But then was it more like a fast growth in the immediate part or did it take like a year or two? No, it took, to it took a while. Okay. Over the last like three years, it's really transitioned. Mm -hmm. Like I would say I've seen the growth heavy, like from yeah, 2019, going yeah. to 2020 that it's time. It's been wild. Like, yeah. Definitely the shoe game itself yeah. has helped out a like lot. Like the COVID year was nutter butters. Everybody didn't have nothing to do, it was just spending money. Blowing cheese, bro. Yeah, what a good time. And I had a massive Jordan shipment stuck yeah. for like three months because of COVID. Damn. And the fucking last dance dropped in between. Oh. So I hit a lick because all that stuff went so like right. went crazy. So like, talk about your shoe collection too, because like there's a lot of different collectors and we know the yeah. people that got shops, right? Like they either you got a massive collection and you're a collector but typically if you got a shop or online business or something yeah i always see a lot of people have you know 20 to 50 pairs maybe 100 pairs and they just got a lot of bangers in their collection you know what's funny it actually just hit me right now my peak collection was like 2018 mm -hmm. 2019 I remember that. and i sold it all yep and now that i don't really collect shoes anymore is when my business has gone up it's kind of weird actually really yeah because the last three i remember years, when i seen your closet in that back in then like yeah like yo like i had like paris sbs everything. undefeated like yep. everything like he was just shit, rocking it like, like crazy tearing stuff. it up didn't but care yeah, then i bought my house and it's like i'll, I'll never be satisfied right and like i see this stuff all day every day so it's like I don't want to. I, I don't want to go home and do it. I feel you. I feel you. So, what yeah. we got over here? This is some fucking trash. <laughs> <laughs> for those that don't know, we just did a trade for the Nike Air Max. No, that's not what we trade. Okay, we did. He gave me this for Nike Air Max, man. <laughs> I got swindled. Watch that video. I'll have a link for you guys down below. This is a big old box of clothes. We got a bunch of vape, like. Okay. Like. So not only sneakers, more of we like. We sell everything. Whatever. Your boy just took an Xbox controller okay. home. Video games. Yeah. Clothing. Accessories. Yeah. yeah. You know, we, you know, we strapped up. Okay. Ready for that action. Oh, you yeah. got pop toys too. Yeah, you got everything. Damn, I didn't so, know. Yeah, no, we, uh, we've kind of learned to sell everything around okay. here. We got, okay. a guy, we got a guy for everything. Um, so this is a big old pile of shoes that's going to go up soon. This is all going to get processed in the next couple weeks. 
Um, you see, a, you, there's like 30 pairs of Union 4s like straight buried back there. Really? Yeah, buried, buried. I know, I was supposed to get them ones from you a long time ago. Which, Which ones? ones? The, the ugly ones. The moss? The moss ones. Ugh, you're welcome. <laughs> like, right. So, one right. thing about Soul Stills as well is, I can't say you guys specialize in it, but you guys do have the things where you got, like you may get a lot of pairs that, if I got a messed up box or missing the laces or something like that. It's kind of people, a niche. Where people can get those good deals and find that, yeah. that good stuff. So there's a lot of, that. There's a lot of people that don't really give a shit. Right. The boxes, like I don't care, I throw away my boxes. Right. So like if I can take a shoe that goes for 300 and give it to you for 250 because the fucking box lid is messed up. Right. That's not what was supposed to be in there. <laughs> yeah, and you gotta. That's a size 17. <laughs> size 17. And a Jordan 1 box. You see what I'm saying? So it's like but replacement like, box and the next thing you know. But like this, what is this? This is a, a black cement 3. Oh, this, this is why it's going home with me. Um, but it's like damaged box. But if this is a $500 shoe, I could sell for $400. Like, right. I don't care. Right. Yeah, so that's so kind of that, like, I found my lane mm -hmm. on that one. This is an entire case of Spider-Man GS1s. Spider-Man uh, GS1s. Just holding on to these. Yeah. Waiting for the next movie to come out, you That know? makes sense. Yeah. That definitely does make sense. Yeah, hit a lick. I still need a uh, size 13, y'all, so let me know down below in the comment yeah. section. <laughs> I'm in side game. And then, so this is all the stuff that's like currently up right now. Okay. Like we can just run through. So up on the on member Steel's site? Member site right now. So there's, tell them the difference between the members and the available so stuff the on member, the website. Member site, you have to pay 25 bucks a month to get access to. Okay. And you get access to the cool stuff. Like what is light, like lightning fours, like just, we'll, we'll run through some of those. And then the public stuff is more like just, you know, vapor maxes, Air Forces. A lot more of those daily wears. Yeah, rockers. just the daily wears. But like stuff like this, like there's plenty of people out there that just want a pair of these and right. I'm I'm, so, I'm gonna sell these for like 75 bucks. Right. Like, sure the box is damaged, but who cares? But yeah, so So um, now kids so shoes. This, but that didn't open up until when? That just opened up like six months ago. Yeah, I was about to say, I thought yeah. that was this year. And a, lo a lot of people still don't know about it. It's okay. mostly members that buy in it. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's just it's just nice to have it up there. So for you guys, like I said, Soul Steals, the website is going to be down below. We'll have the link for the people that want to be members and the people that want to just get stuff from the website. Obviously, there's going to be a difference and you'll see this stuff you'll on the website it. as well. Yeah. So you'll be able to make your decision. But, you know, I've been a member and a lot of people have been a member. We got people in the DNA fam that have been a member for a long time as well. Shout out to DNA That fam. get stuff a lot. So... Let's, yeah, let's run through some yeah, of we these. Yeah, we can run through some of these carts we'll open. So yeah, we'll see some stuff that, oh, organize. Oh, so look. if somebody pulled an order right now, and you're like, yo, so-and-so, cool grays in a size nine. Yeah. Do you know how to just find it quick or like? So we have it in numbers. Okay. Yeah, so most people will have it by size, but mm -hmm. we put it in order in which we put it up. So like 1330. 1350, 1353, so like that 20, those 20 pairs of salt. Okay, already. so like as you intake the stuff from over there, yeah, so it as, will then be as on we this put, part over here. Yeah, so it's in order by number. Okay, so essentially like that could be the stuff that's been on the site the longest. How are these still up? Whoa. Yo, these are supposed to be coming back out. Soon. Are they? Oh, that's probably why they're still up then. The yellow and yeah, uh, yellow. my pair is uh, not that yellow, but they're yellow. Like I need another pair. Let's see Definitely. what else we great got shoe. in here. Definitely a great shoe. These are still up. Uh, yeah. These are still up. For still need those. Size 14. Ooh. This is the box that released in Europe, so Ooh. maybe that's why people don't want them. Ooh, my pair is beat. I mean, <laughs> I'd have been in the mud and back in my pair. Yeah. 14. Yeah. 14. Uh, I think I'd probably be smarter to get my dad the new one. Oh, yeah. I was about to say, smart. your dad is a 14, yeah. right? Yeah. Playoff 12 low. It'd probably be smart for me to do that. Let's huh? see what else we got here. Oh, this is a good shoe. So, you probably have these. Some of the people too have the question. Oh yeah. yeah. Ooh. What's the price on those? Oh, probably like two fifty, something uh -oh. like that. I'm gonna, hey, Don't I'm quote me. A... Someone's gonna be like, "Those are two twenty-five on StockX. <laughs> They're sold for two fifty. That's a ripoff." <laughs> Don't quote me. <laughs> Got a uh, discount. Double check. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah. So, some of a lot of people ask the questions too, like, and this is something I definitely want to bring up with you, because I talk to a lot of different store owners and people that got you know online business stuff, and like you said, you find your niece with selling stuff that's like. Oh, it's got a damaged box or whatever. Yeah. But every place specializes in a thing as well with the type of inventory that they sell. Mm -hmm. And what do you know that sells the best for you when it comes to like models, colors, numbers, whatever? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like some people are like, they just do new dunks, new Jordan ones, and yeah. a couple Jordan fours, and that's like all their inventory. Yeah. I mean, I could sell water to a whale. Okay. So it's like, as long as it's priced right around here, like it's gonna go. 
like we sell everything. Mm -hmm. Like we even have a section on the website now called garage sale, mm -hmm. which that's what the stuff my dude Ty puts up. Got you. Like we'll sell everything. Like he just put, he's just grabbing the Murakami figure right now to put up. Got you. It's probably 2,500 bucks. We'll put it up for 1,900. Someone's so, gonna buy it. So when it comes to buying, yeah. a lot of people ask that. A lot of people wanna know the questions of buying in bulk and doing the different things. Good luck. Uh, right, it's hard. Mm -hmm. That's definitely a hard thing. It's not as easy as it used to be. Uh, does it look more of buying in bulk of random sneakers of a collection that's just got like every single model is different in colors and yeah, stuff and it's that, like I mean, dude, those are getting a hard, variation those of things. Those are really hard collections to get nowadays. Right. Yeah. Like I think I, I can't remember the last time I bought someone's collection. Right. Like it's been a while. Like a and lot that of used to be the thing to do. Yeah, that's what you had to do. But like nowadays people will just hit me up, be like, hey, I have this. Like mm -hmm. and some people I don't even ask, need to ask the price. Like right. I'll I'll we're good. So um, it's just through again, network, right? Yeah. And, and time in the game. Yep. And we gotta take continue to tell people that and so they understand like uh -huh. it takes time to build this network, it takes time to do these things, build these relationships and doing all this stuff because yeah, it all sounds great, Peachy and Danny. We got all these sneakers and stuff, but they gotta remember, you gotta do the foundational thing. You know what's funny? You know what my pet peeve is? Like when people see me and like, like I got cool shit at the house and stuff, and they'll be mm -hmm. like, and they, they'll come over and be like, "What do you do for a living?" I say, "I sell shoes." And they'll be like, "Damn, I gotta start selling shoes." That shit pisses me off right. so fucking right. much. No, for sure. Yeah, because if I asked you, "Oh, what do you do for a living?" Because right. you're, you're balling. Oh, I'm a doctor. I'm be, I wouldn't be like, "Damn, I need to go to med school." Right, right. Like that shit pisses me off right. so much. Like this shit is not easy. It takes a really long time to, to get here. Because like you said, like you was in it for you know, yeah, it's been, been a long yeah, time. Yeah, it's been a while. Fifteen years. Like met the been... right people. I've right. done some really dirty stuff to like never mind i'm just kidding <laughs> i was like okay I <laughs> sucked a lot of all right. <laughs> so about the community uh, section what we got over here this is a jordan 29 that's a great shoe uh, shit. <laughs> let's talk about some pe's <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're going straight to this uh, all go go straight to the only fans <laughs> i'm setting up account today just like you had that brain blast to set up your yeah. membership yeah. <laughs> i think we might be up to something here's a big one that's a size 15. size 15. what's the price of this you got I'll, the Drake I'll take like eight thousand for that size eight thousand now if this was a smaller size what would it be 15 20. yeah like 13 14. 13 14 okay so you got a gray pair and a pink pair this is the pink pair um i don't know how many pairs there are of these that are kind of out there there's I can't no, say I see no a num lot of them, but no I see a decent amount of pairs every now and then with certain people. So either way, very expensive shoe. Jordan 11s, when it comes to the PEs or the samples, they're always a lot more expensive for any of them, even the low top ones. Like You, you know what's funny though? If like, if the samples were so expensive as they were in like 2012, those 11s would be like 20 bands. Yeah. Like nowadays, it's really the fours that go for the most. So the Jordan 4, a I feel, I feel like a lot of people say the Jordan 4 is essentially the best sampled PE whatever. Yeah, I don't think no one's touching model. It. Like it has the most versions of it. Yeah. It has the best colorways, it's the, the three, favorite it's the ones. The three and the four. The high prices, the the three and the four are the best ones. Even though there's crazy ones like this, you gotta touch it and show the people. <laughs> he doesn't like glitter, he's got right. a phobia. I got you. Let me rub it on your arm. No, dude, I will literally, Pause. I will literally, <laughs> literally ask you. Whoa, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> no, nah, but uh, this is from the Legend of Summers pack. You got four different colorways that come from this pack. This is one of them. This is the what? Uh, what do you call these things again? I call uh, them Dorothy's. Dorothy's. Yeah. Dorothy. We're not in Kansas anymore. Uh, Dorothy Johns. This is the one you were looking for. This is the one I was looking for. Yep. Oh, okay, you guys. This is the one. This is the one. I just, I just can't. It's the one of one. I can't come to do it. It's, it's just so expensive. It's the only size 13. Pantone six. The only size 13. Yeah. Only size 13. I wear a size 13. I am a Jordan six lover. This is one of my favorite. No, this is my favorite model out of every single model ever. This is my favorite model. That's it. But the UNC sixes are kind of close to them. It's and those are a little close. bit more affordable. For sure. Actually, a couple thousand less, I guess. There's some. Yeah, I was about to say the UNC Six. Actually, pretty expensive. Yeah, after yeah. I, think about I was about it. to say. I mean, you could probably add like two bands and take that one. Low key. Yeah. Low key. Either way, 
some people may say these look like the UNC UNC sixes. They are definitely different. Uh, we saw the Pantone sevens release. We saw the what's it Gift of Flight Jordan elevens uh -huh. look like the Pantone elevens yeah. release, which was like a crazy grill. Uh -huh. Remember the Rainbow Pack elevens? Yeah, those were fire. I've Some never good had, stuff. I've never had there. anything from the Rainbow Pack. Really? Like, yeah. No. Now the Rainbow Pack was definitely a really good pack from back in the day. So for those that don't know, way back in time way back in time it feels like yeah they used to do packs i feel like they haven't really done it like that anymore no they haven't not in so, a long time but, like they, they give do, it to the they just gave one to ucla yeah like, so they're the college edition yeah they're ones. not make yeah, yeah but it's not like the displays like they were because remember each year they was doing the nike town things and yeah. they were doing the special nike towns yeah so they would take the colorways and make it around a theme or something and they would do every single model of all the jordans that at the time in that colorway series so they have every single model with the baby blue and the white on the bottom and then we'd have like the different one on the white with the red the black with the green the this the that the rainbow pack the different stuff so yep. it was cool to see that stuff back in the day Fun. and this was like before college pe's yep this was like For sure you know this is 2010 i think yep. the first college pe was what like 2012 uh the jordan 9 was at oregon well, that was 2010 so that, that was 2010, 2011, something yeah. like, sometime around there. So I remember the UNC yeah. fours came out in like 2012. Oh, I guess she had the 13s, but nobody. That was like. Oh, the, one, oh yeah, that was 2005 or yeah. some shit. Yeah. But, but I don't know. Yeah. But this was like PEs. You know what I'm saying? This was like mm -hmm. back in the day, and so much stuff has changed over time. So right now, you guys may see a couple things right here, but trust me, they get a lot of stuff in when it comes to Travis Scott's. Got different variations of the purples, different things like that. Definitely a lot in here. When it comes to PEs now. Talk about that, because we know that, you know, well, I don't know if everybody knows, but that's been your thing, like on Instagram, posting yeah. different stuff. Yeah, and, like my personal and using page, that. Like I kind of just separated the two. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, man, it's been fun. But <laughs> yeah, I uh, I had to slow down a bit yeah. because like, I only, I only get them now from like the dudes I really know, like the ones I'm gonna get good prices right, for. Right, right, right. Like, so I'm not as heavy into it as I was. And plus like I've had, I've gotten some heat with it, to be honest, like yeah. in the past, like my name isn't very good over at, over at the headquarters and shit. Oh, so for I'm, like getting see, certain shoes. Yeah, like, so like I, had, I had to slow down. Yeah. I got kids yeah. be get, getting caught up with no shit. I feel you. So yeah, I slowed down. But I yeah, I'm, I'm still, I'm still here. Like, I mean, no, no, still no one's really touching the, this type of stuff. Right. But yeah, that's, I'm, I'm just a lot quieter about it. I feel you. Yeah. I feel you. Yeah, it's definitely interesting too with the PE game. Everybody's yeah. very nosy and catty and all yep. that stuff. Like it's a small community. Everybody wants to know where you got it from and they yeah. already want to act like they know the price and so and so and mm -hmm. they're making their assumptions and all this stuff. So but yeah. that's a whole different world, but. I still touch pretty much everything. Yeah. But just. It's, it's, it's so hard too with just all these college shoes coming out. Like it's just uh, yeah, I, I I haven't really touched a lot of this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's just like, a lot of because I don't I don't pay the dropping. most for those. So if I if I get them like he got a 13. I don't know if this is the one. That is that's the this one. This is the one. Use size 13, 13 y'all. I might have to put a shopping cart together. Give me some fucking Roshis for him. I have to put something up. Okay, so you got random stuff back here. You want to yeah, show them what's yeah. in the bathroom? Yeah, we can show. We can go to the can. <laughs> He got stuff in the bathroom. He got poop particles on him. Yeah. This shelf got cleared up a bit. Um, this, <laughs> this is more of your Steve's type of stuff. No, too. for real. This yeah. is bringing it back. Yeah. Too rich. This is fire. Is this Jawan Josh Howard? Yeah. I think it is. Yo. Love this stuff is my size. Not these, but these. And those. These. Those are my size. Ooh. These are crispy as fuck. How old are these, man? Oh, bro. Is this like 2008? Those gotta be like, I was about to say, at least probably close to 15 years old. Yeah, and they're still crispy. And they're ready to crack soon. Yeah, you put them oh, on. exactly. Those are gonna pop. Uh, I already know it. They're gonna just be crumbling. Yeah. Q Ridge stuff. Always good PEs. See, this is PEs, y'all. I know we're in the bathroom, but these are PEs. This is like. Good times. It may look like a you know a regular bread thirteen, but you see what I'm saying? This yep. is good times right here. We in the bath. It's dope to see this old stuff. What size are these? I don't know, fifteen. Damn, these are huge. It's a fifteen. I need these two out. I'm not the biggest fan of them, but look at that air unit. Still want to complete the set. Those are my camp out shoes for a little bit. Was it fifteen too? Yeah, something like that. Q Rich. Got two pairs of those. Hmm. Yeah, there's always stuff laying around right here. Think my here. dad can fit in 15? 
It's either a 15 or a 16. The fucking size tag got uh, blacked out. We got a, this uh, is a 14. My dad would go crazy. This, this is a, crazy. This is a game worn pair of Kobe's. Damn. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He wore these. I think it was a, a game against the, the Kings. Damn. Yep. So these aren't going nowhere. That's wild. We got these over here too. If y'all didn't see the video. Yep. Finally got them. Where's the sticker? Where's the thing at? Right here, bro. Oh, it's at the top. Yeah, so. Okay. Yeah, see, I'm new. I'm a beginner. Yep. First pair. First pair. I haven't had them for an hour yet. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we gotta put them in sport mode. Yeah. So you got kids. I got babies. So you cater to the kids too, right? Yeah. You got uh, the little stuff. We I saw actually, some little stuff in the doorway. Uh, yeah, over no, there. I, I keep some of the lower end kids stuff for like if I know some kids that like really need some shoes. Right, right. But like. Some I'll sell most of like the like, like I don't the need, higher, I, don't like need kids, I don't need uh, to give a kid a university blue right, one GS right, right. or pre preschool so like all the regular stuff I have like a box of so if okay. a kid needs I'll just okay. give it to him it's not that makes sense yeah that makes sense yeah so in here this is what is this room this is all fucked up shit okay. like mismatched two left shoes this place is a goddamn disaster <laughs> we all need to go in here but i got a supreme mini fridge okay so i got He's that like but we got this though got that i got a mini fridge <laughs> i brought two left okay okay <laughs> <laughs> we got stuff over here yeah um what else we got we got stuff back here yeah. we got playstation or is this uh, xbox only game no we, we got, got a couple ps5s over here you know, xboxes these are all my boxes you need a controller he said he got one yeah he can take one yep I got a chicken nugget pillow. Oh my gosh. I got like. Anybody need any basketball? You need a basketball? Yeah, there's a 12 in here. That's gone. Damn. I like the purple one, to be honest. The purple one's clean. I yeah. like the blue, the pistachio one. Yeah, that one's all right. I think, I that's, the, I think I, that's the easiest one to wear. I dropped those a lot on Soul Steels, actually. So, Yeezys. Yeah, Yeezys, man. How's that treating you? <laughs> Fucking booming. <laughs> to be honest, like. These are just... We sell... We, I sell a lot of these, actually. So, after all the controversy and stuff, what happened? Like, everybody started buying more? Everything stayed the same? I know a lot of people nah. ask that question. Yeah, no, they, I mean, I saw more sales, but I'm not seeing the prices jump up right, right. away. Just people just kind of grabbing them. Yeah, like, that first week, I probably sold, like, 50 pairs a day. Really? And when it got announced, the site got freaking wiped of really? Yeezys. Really? Yeah, that was a busy day. Really? Um, but, yeah, no, like, the like these still st sell steady. Okay. So... I'm not in a rush to get rid of them, right. but yeah, I think they're they're gonna still sell for a while. Huh. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how that all plays out. Yeah, they are. They just announced that they're gonna re-release the designs without his name. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, like the without this with the yeah. name on the side, that's gonna be kind of weird. I think huh? that's kind of a clown. Move. Looks like them doing like that's what all the other brands do. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like that's, that's like we see in Skechers and you name it, they're yeah. all taking the same thing and then doing it without it. But fucking, I don't know. It should be interesting. That's weird. You said you got a uh, what's it called too? A storage unit, right? Uh, yeah. You wanna head over there? We should uh, we should check out everything over there. You got anything else to show us here? Yeah, uh, no, we gotta unload the van though. Okay. That was part of the trade, right? There might be some stuff in there. Yeah, There's yeah. a lot of stuff in there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's unload you're, the you're van. Getting, you're getting your hands dirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. All so right. we're gonna unload the van, and then once we unload the van, we'll show you guys what's in the van, cause I don't even know what's in there. Yeah, you can. I'll, I'll hand you some stuff, and uh, you could you could show them some goodies. I don't even know what's in the van, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> we just got done unloading. And uh, there's a lot of inventory in here. Talk to me about this, and this is a part of your weekly process, right? Yep, so this, we did a little bit different this week. Okay. But yeah, so everything on these racks is dropping this Sunday. So okay. this is like 450 plus, I think. 450 So it's pairs. definitely, okay. this might even be the largest drop of the year, to be honest. This is a lot of shoes. Okay, so yeah. when you do these drops, every Sunday, 3 p.m. on the ES website. PST. PST Pacific on the website Standard. for the members. And then uh, yep. some of these things may trickle through to be available to the public, depending. Yeah, on like certain things, like maybe this like Blazer Low, like this Presto, right. like some things. All we already had a whole list made, so I just we're just gonna throw up the entire list, right. and then if shit sits, might pull some out. Like, but like, we saw a lot of stuff: older ones, bread ones, off whites, Travis Scott's, a lot of different things mixed in here as well. That's gonna go to the. <sighs> <laughs> regular, you know what these are? Regular shoppers. You know what these are, right? Yeah, those are the Campus 69s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, no, there's definitely some good. You got that Kobe pack, Off-White 4. Every weekend, I look on the site, there's always something good on here. It just may vary in sizes, you know, like 
Sometimes there's like, oh, some crazy bangers for good deals in the 13. Next yeah. week it might be something in 12, 10, you name it. Like, and that shit but, pisses me off too, because one week I'll have a lot of 13 stuff, and then mm -hmm. I got the 10 people all mad at me, and then I'll have the 10 people taking care of them, and then the 13 people getting mad at me. <laughs> Everyone just needs to stop yelling. <laughs> So there's always a good mix though. I like that though when it yeah. comes to the website and you kind of find those different things and the curveballs that come through. Yeah. The random items that you find for the low. You also do like the mystery box stuff, right? Or it's like the yeah, we slow we thing, slow or? we slow down on that. Okay. Though. How's that work? Um, it just depends on when we have like an overflow of inventory. We just need to dump some stuff. Okay. So yeah, I mean we put stuff in there for two thousand. It's probably worth like twenty four, twenty five hundred. Okay. Make some bread. Everyone's happy. Oh, and the hundred dollar boxes too. Oh, right? the hundred dollar boxes. That's so right. the hundred dollar boxes. That's the one I was talking about. Okay, so that that is different. Okay. Okay, so the hundred dollar boxes, you might get a shoe in there worth sixty bucks. Okay. But you might get a shoe in there worth two hundred. Okay. Or sometimes we've done like Travis Fragment highs. Yeah, like, we've Fragment given away some shit. Yeah. Yeah, and people get pissed because it, it's a slim chance you win, but it's still a chance. Like right. it. Like, I mean, you know what you get into. We do the numbers like if on those sixty dollar pairs we make thirty bucks, we put that thirty bucks towards the fragment. Right. So we need to sell 70, 80 pairs of the junk shit to give away the high end stuff. Right. It's, it's and simple it's like math the, actually. The risk that you're taking. Yeah, it's the right. risk. And no, sense. now Makes we sense. have them check a box before they can check out. Like, and one time I made them type in a password. I won't cry, in order to get to the shoe. In order to get to that product page, in right. order to check it out. So yeah, it's. That's process. different. Yeah, it's exhausting though because okay. like it's fun to do, but sometimes those couple pissed off people really right. like lower my my joy in life. Right. So I it's like sometimes I slow I down. I feel it. I feel it. So over here we got more shoes kind of all racked up on this side. Yeah. Got an um, off white dunk. All here. this stuff just came through. And, and thank you new. guys for helping me unload it. Yeah. Off white UNC. Um, Bunch of good stuff. Mixture in sizes. I want to see those. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen these in a while, actually. Jeez. Damn, yeah. Yeah, wow. When was the last time you saw a pair of these? Man, actually, yeah, it's been a little minute. Oh. I ain't gonna lie. I still don't have a pair. I've been kind of like on the fence. These are fire. To this are, day. Like, these are fire. I appreciate the shoe, but yeah. I'm like, do I want to have it in my collection? Yeah, I think you have black Yeah, the black pair is clean. Yeah. I yeah. like those for sure. Definitely. Oh, uh, no, is this one? Dude, I think I'm gonna buy these actually. People I'm, slept on these. I might take these to be honest. These are kind of cool. They did a really good job on these. These are like, like saucy. I think I think they did a good job yeah. on it. Yeah. It's a slept on shoe. This is gonna yeah. be one of those shoes that I think down the line, 350 bucks. Like, like, look oh, at this, damn, look at this leather. Yeah. Yeah. They're nice. Definitely a very nice yeah. shoe. No, I might I might have to pull these from the sneak peek, especially for 150, 160. Bucks. Oh yeah, talk about that too. So you got the sneak peek on the site. Yeah, so we show everything. Okay. So it, it takes a while to upload it. Does it show it. the price and everything? Yeah, it shows too? the price sizes. So everything. you know everything that's about to come out. Yeah. By Saturday, you will know everything. Okay, like, so it Saturday it, you'll know, it'll and then take Sunday the drop happens. Yep. So you're like, you got your eye on the shoe. Yeah, exactly. You're hoping to get it. Everybody's and, going after the different ones. And then I always tell people, pick your third favorite option. If you want that top shoe, that means a lot of people want that right. top shoe. So go for number three. Right. Yeah, take your top three, go for that third one. I got one. you. You got, okay. you got a okay. better shot. Nice little strategy. Yep. Something See, nice. I, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'll be finessing, because I'll be like, hey, bro. <laughs> <laughs> No, he Take doesn't. That sneak peek. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Yeah, and then we got. Then this is the last cart. God, this is a lot of shoes this week. Yeah, this is gonna be a fun Monday. Two more so how many? You said four hundred and fifty pairs. Yeah, four fifty pairs somewhere four, around there. Yeah, because each of those carts hold like a buck twenty-five, and then this. Wow, this might even be five. This might be closer to five hundred to be honest. This is a lot of shoes. Nah. <laughs> That ain't, that ain't it. I don't know about those, bro. Some people like them, though, especially when they're already cut. People will people mess with them. It's already prepped and ready to go. Yep. But yeah, no, a lot of good stuff. Okay, well, what, I mean, what else we need to do? We need to go to the other store. Yeah, spot? you want to go to the store spot? Yeah, let's go check that out. It's a shit show. Uh -oh. It's going to be fun, though. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll, get, I'll tell you a story when we get there, okay. too. That's kind of fun. So let's go ahead and get ready. Let's get packed up. Let's go over there. Let's check out the next spot. And then yep. Hit the B-roll. Yeah. So, oh, well, I guess you can tell us we're right. We're in the overflow area. This is an overflow this area. Overflow. So if like the van's full, the it's a shit thing. show at the warehouse. This is where it comes. So we got like at least 700 pairs in here. This is all the better stuff. These pallets are from three years ago. I've still never opened them. I don't even know what's in them. I paid 50 bands for both of them, and I still haven't broken them down. Like, These, this one yeah, and that one. Yeah, so it was, this was full. We took some stuff. My boy Eric was out here. Yeah. And we let him uh, run some shoes. But yeah, there was ton like. There, so I, you literally paid $50,000. For two pallets. For two pallets. Yep. 
and you have no clue. Uh, no, I have no idea. What you bought. Like, I know how many pairs are on there. And Three I years know, ago. Yeah, and I know the average cost of these pairs. Uh -huh. Like, like I, I, like I've just been doing this for so long. I know what the average was gonna be. Like, right. See, I probably should have sold these a while back, though. Like, damn. Like, um, you would have. You came up even more. Yeah, just exactly. Throws them aside. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, dude, they've been in here forever. What's this? Is Jordan Nine. Oh, this is a Baron. What's that right there? Uh, yeah, we're frozen. hoping you get through it right now. Yeah, this Baron Nine, crazy. still brand new. They're all in. Good condition still. Like, so everything's brand new. Yeah, everything's brand new in here. Look, that's a cream. Damn, I probably should have sold that a while back. This is my son's Lego. Gotta Damn. Bring that, gotta bring that home to him. I can't. Oh these? shit. Oh, oh. There we go. Okay. Yeah. We can't. Well, we what, can't. What? What else? What's no, happening? like, like, I just, it's tumbling. It's gonna start tumbling. Yeah, let's make a mess. See, like, there's some good stuff in there, in here, and then there's this stuff like this. It's just a random Air Max. This is crazy, yeah. bro. So I was worried this was gonna be the yellow one. Hey, these oh, are no. fire. Oh, oh, that's a good shoe. These are fire. Yeah, I think those go for a couple hundred. Yeah. Yeah. I like those. Look at the black, uh, black and pink ones. Yeah, no. That was my favorite from the pack, but I like those too. Yeah, a bunch of random stuff in here, man. But yeah, most of this stuff. Is, this is all newer stuff on this side. Playoffs. What is that? Alternates, fire reds, grade school stuff. This was in that palette. H okay. Was, I still need those. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, I've had so many size thirty. All these were in the in the in those palettes. I was slacking. We got rid of size fifteen. Yeah. Royals. Royal ones. Oh hello. Might Sad. need to take those back. Yeah. Man, should we load up the truck? <laughs> hella random. These probably go for bread now. The no, white. for sure. Yeah. Those are all pushing up towards the rack now. Yeah. Let's see. There you go. Black joints. Yep. So this is the overflow. This is the overflow. This but is yeah. the part that people never even know about. Yeah, no, yeah. Keep this bad boy very remote location. Hmm. Yep. This is and crazy, bro. Just collects dust in here until it's time to bring it back. And you just start, yeah. start moving stuff. So uh, or this stuff, when you say more recent, like, oh, these recently came yeah, out. Yeah, like all this, re this stuff is recently came okay. out, like UNCs. Okay. Like this is stuff I picked up but I just couldn't take it back to the warehouse. So you're like, oh, I'll just drop it here. Yeah, let's just drop it off. And you kind of just like forget about it almost. Yeah, probably until Damn. I need shoes. It's also like a buffer. I like if it. I'm low on shoes and I need to make a soul seals drop. I see a size 13. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, look at cute. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's definitely some 13s in here. So this is when, okay, you get low. Yeah, on so like if it, or like, it's nice to have like a little buffer, you know? Mm-hmm. Hooligans outside. Turn it up over here. Turn it up. Little What's this? Kid. Size 13. Don't see my butt crack. Oh, oh, lacto. That's a cool one. That's a good one right yeah. there. I like that. But yeah, this is one of the other areas no one else gets to see. Damn. But yeah. Let me know what y'all think down below in the comment section about this whole thing. One and of these again, days we'll break one of these down. Yeah, you gotta break it down. Break it down. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know what y'all think about all this stuff. And again, if you guys haven't heard of Soul Stills, make sure you guys check it out. The links and everything is going to be down below in the description. They got available stuff for the regular public and then the people that are a part of the community, the members. And uh, yeah, they got some really good deals on there. I've gotten some great things over this time. And as you can see, there's a lot of sneakers and they got a lot of damaged boxes. So you get things for better <laughs> now, deals. Now we know why they're damaged. Because they keep coming in pallets. The yeah. shoes. And sports cards. Are great deals. Like they got all the shoes brand new and it's just like the box is crumpled and that's all you gotta worry about. Oh, What's this that? one's supposed to go. Oh, I want those ones. Which one's this one? Yeah. Oh, that no, that's a nine. Oh, that's the baseball. Baseball one. Baseball nine. And pull it out. Pause. Black or brown? Okay. Black. Black. So they do really good jobs on shoes like this. It's just like, $400. it just, yeah, it just, look at that jump man, like alone, like this is so hard. The metal, the details on this thing, the materials, these are, these are really nice. It's hard to get your everyday consumer to drop that retail price. What is it? That's 250. 250? I thought it was way more than that. That's crazy. I thought these were more. Oh no, the pinnacles were 400. That's the what ones, you're thinking of. Which yeah, ones? No, the fours. The, the ones. Four. The ones were yeah. like 400. Yeah. 
And Fuck 11s? It. How much were the 11s? 400. So fucking, why are those so much cheaper? I don't know. Oh, fucking yeah. basura. That's weird. Interesting. That's hella weird. But yeah, man. So this is it. This is it. This is the tour. Yep. This is crazy. Yeah. We're, we're going to watch this back one day. Don't you just want to fucking tackle this <laughs> just one time? He already, got a dent. he already got a dent in his shin. Now he's going to have a messed up yeah. shoulder. It's all good. I'm definitely very interested to see what's inside of here. Yeah. There's one day. Lot. I'll call you when I break this one down. We'll go through it. Okay. We'll, and then we'll add it up. See if I got whacked or not. <laughs> see all the prices on everything? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just like nothing missing. in there. Just all lined. Yeah. This is an empty box. But yeah. All right, you guys. That's going to be it. I appreciate you guys for watching. If you guys ever want to see any more videos like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Join the family. Join the gang. Join the squad. Shout out to Soul Still. Shout out to my guys, Daddy. We are out. It's time to go. Peace. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight-week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there.